Hi, welcome to another session of Introduction to Computer Science. Today we have a very important, very interesting topic for us. It's all about programming. And the concept is somewhat unclear. WAG. Of course, there are a lot of things running around uh, some, uh, somewhat in a false direction. And today we will try to fix all these problems. And problems like actually what is programming, what is coding, and is there any difference between programming and coding, of course, and what is the importance of coding. So we can look at each one by one. First, we know we are very exposed to technology. We are exposed to technology to a great extent in terms of computer uh, softwares, mobile applications, website, and other kind of stuff. Majority of us are simply wasting our time scrolling up and down, simply surfing on the internet, especially in social media. But minority, like entrepreneurs and business person, are making use of technology or social media platforms like Facebook, WhatsApp to promote their business. Of course, they are using these platforms for their promotions, advertisements, for their new product introductions, all that. So, knowing technology, at least knowing technology, in which always we can use it as for productive purpose, will definitely be good. So, we are trying to get that. We are trying for that level. So, knowing technology will definitely benefit you. It is an add-on. Just by knowing the good aspects of technology, we can definitely improve our life. The way we're doing things will definitely improve. That is what we are going to aim. And we can start with what programming is. Actually, what do you mean by programming? Programming is simply nothing but writing programs. And what is program? What is a program? Just before moving on to computer program, we can look at the real world, the real life program. For example, psychology says 21 days of doing things, practicing on a daily basis, on a fixed time will make it as a routine, will make it as a part of your character, behavior. Actually what we are doing is consciously we are programming our subconscious mind. We are doing the same thing at a fixed time. Uh, we are instructing our brain to do this, to do which all ways we can do that, all those kind of stuff. So we are deliberately, we are consciously programming our subconscious mind to make it as a practice part of our behavior or character. It's a kind of programming, of course. Then we can have another example, our school assembly, of course. You can see a set of instructions or self uh, actions going on in that program. All uh, students should be lined up first, right? After that, uh, we, we can have uh, prayer, pledge, uh, speech, introduction or any, any kind of things, uh, birthday celebration, principal's address. There will be a fixed set of what instructions. It may not be fixed. Uh, it can be fixed or changeable. Okay, so this is what actually programming is. So this is the real life programming. Programming means simply writing programs, and programs consist of instructions, right? So computer program, computer program consists of instructions. Why instructions? We you know computer being a machine has no capacity to think on its own has no intelligence on its own. Just don't go for artificial intelligence or machine learning. We are talking about a normal machine, okay? So, computer being a machine has no intelligence on its own. So, we have to instruct the machine what to do, how to do. So, that is what instruction is. For example, a simple example. Uh, if you want to add two numbers, how can you perform the operation using a computer or a calculator? You have to input uh, example uh, values 4 and 5. So. Initially, you have to input 4 and 5 and you have to instruct the machine, instruct the device what to do. That is what addition is. So, that plus is called instruction. Okay, so that should be given by the user. So, computer works on instructions. That is what a program is. So, program is a set of instructions written to perform a task, a particular task. So, how we do programs? At the time, here comes the importance of language and which are the types of language? Actually, when we think of language, uh, there comes uh, natural language, right? English, Malayalam, Hindi, Tamil, German, French, all, all that stuff. 
So it's not about a normal language or natural language. Natural languages are used by human beings to communicate, right? So computer cannot understand all these natural languages. So there is a special kind of language called computer language for computers. Only using that computer language, we can give instructions to computers or to any, any kind of machines. So we're using computer languages for giving instructions to computers. Okay, so that is why we are using computer languages. And here comes the difference. Our terminologies like programming and coding. Is there actually any, any visible difference? Uh, usually we are using programming and coding interchangeably, right? Uh, having the same meaning, of course. But uh, when you watch it closely, when you observe it closely, you can find a difference. A slight difference, of course. But programming is all about uh, planning. Planning, doing things, right? And coding is the implementation level. And coding means simply writing the code, the source code. What we are coding, that is what coding is. What we are planning, we can call it as what programming. But actually we are using these two terms interchangeably. No problem in using these two terms interchangeably. Okay, so that is what coding is. And how can you code? Using computer language. Here comes two types of languages. Machine language and high level language. And what is a machine language? Machine language is a language which is understand or used to code machines, right? And this, this language, only machines can understand or interpret or manipulate machine language. And it consists of ones and zeros, bits and bytes, or what bits means one and zero, binary digits. That's what bits is, okay? So that is the basic, the, the, the basic storage unit of a computer system bits and bytes okay so we are storing or manipulating using ones and zeros will it be very effective or will it be very easy for us to code in machine or using machine language no why because we must know all the binary equivalent of everything what are we going to do for example if you want to add four and five you must know the binary equivalent of four five and plus right so uh, that will be very a tough task even for uh, high-end programmers also. So uh, We are using high-level programming languages. What do you mean high-level programming language? Anyway, computer can understand only machine language and what is the use of high-level programming language? We all are using high-level languages like C, C++, Java, Python, Cobol, basic. There are a lot of uh, languages available and the most commonly used among is Python. That is what we are going to discuss. We are going to learn in plus one class. Okay, so we know it already. So what is a high level programming language? A high level programming language is nothing but a language, a computer language consists of commonly used English words like if, else, for, while, print, all those kind of stuff. Okay, it is very simple. Using commonly used English words, we are giving instructions to machine or to a computer to do a specific task. That's it. This is very simple, of course, and that is what the difference between high level and machine is. Anyway, we are coding in high-level language. It must be converted to what machine language because high-level language Computer cannot understand or identify high-level language. It must be converted to a language which is Which could be interpreted by machine. That is what machine language is. So here comes the role of compiler or interpreter The software used to convert high-level language to machine language because machines can understand only machine language the language in the form of ones and zeros but we are using English normal English for coding coding is somewhat very simple the way we implement things right okay this is what coding and programming is then how can we start with programming or coding that is also very simple how we are learning a new language and natural language at the time of learning English uh, which uh, the, the kind of procedure we have followed is we have started with what alphabets right uh, both lowercase and uppercase just after completing uh, alphabets learning alphabets we have started uh, creating words right creating words like cat okay all those kind of so after that after learning some uh, some words we have started creating our sentence right making sentence but at the time of developing or making sentence we have to follow syntax right what do you mean by syntax of course grammar we have to follow the grammar strictly in natural languages but here also we have to follow it but 
majority python we have uh, what uh, some some kind of uh, uh, easiness for doing that of course so syntax matters but it is very simple anyway we have to learn it right so it is somewhat very simple we have we can follow it very easily so every language at the time of constructing a sentence we have to follow syntax we have to follow grammar actually what is syntax the grammatical rules of a programming language uh, at the time of constructing a, a sentence we have to follow a syntax we have to follow a grammar otherwise, otherwise we cannot convey the meaning correctly or uh, to its specific sense definitely not so we have to follow the grammatical rules of a language that is what actually syntax is so uh, at the time here also we are following the same method and after constructing sentence we can go for creating a paragraph then essay definitely this is a kind of pattern or the structure we are following here in computer language also first we'll start with uh, alphabets numbers then we'll try to build words construct words uh, there are different kinds of words like keywords and identifiers keywords are like windows is a keyword it's an already defined word right but infosys it's not a keyword it's not a word actually it's a it's a composition of what it's a combination of information systems right information systems and we can connect uh, if with windows because if is already defined in a language in any language and windows is already a keyword but here in uh, computer language uh, information system it's not a word actually we are constructing it and uh, here in computer language these are called variables so identifiers like name name is not a predefined word age is not a predefined word address is not a predefined word so uh, these are some of the words we have to declare we have to define just like uh, developing or creating infosys information system okay this uh, is some uh, some uh, very easy method of uh, uh, doing programs and we have so many flexibility flexible options feasibility here in doing computer programs and programming uh, seems to be something very complex but when you start learning it uh, from the basic at the very basic it will be very easy very very easy even better than learning a new language of course it won't have any any that tough kind of feeling when we start learning a computer language because there are so many flexibilities in learning so many simple options simple uh, methods in learning computer language so this is all about programming coding and importance of coding how can we start with coding and syntax algorithm all that what do you mean by algorithm it's another terminology algorithm what is that algorithm algorithm means step by step instructions written in english that's it step by step instructions written in english and what is the algorithm for uh, sending a message using whatsapp we have to follow a set of instructions right steps first up you have to pick the phone up second step you, you you have to unlock your phone third you have to open your whatsapp fourth you have to find the we means you have to find the contact right you have to find the person then you have to search for the person then you have to type the message finally you can send it right this is what algorithm is this is somewhat very simple step by step instructions to perform a task to solve a problem so hope uh, the concepts are uh, somewhat very clear to you and uh, programming and coding uh, both are somewhat interchangeably used terminologies of course programming is uh, somewhat uh, doing uh, coding and coding is something just like what doing coding or writing programs or writing coding simply making use of computer languages and high level language low level language machine language are also called low level language language uh, only machines can understand and interpret of course and high level language uh, we are using high level language but anyway it should be converted to machine language then only machine can understand it machine can process it okay so computer cpu can we think of as our brain we have to program it we have to program otherwise what happens computer has no capacity to think on its own so we have to instruct the machine what to do then it will do it automatically that's what automatically is you have to give the instruction after that it continues executing things hope everything is uh, uh, that simple for you and uh, next time we will try to start python and the basic uh, things like uh, creating uh, basic uh, level programs uh, printing a message adding two numbers 
then uh, developing a calculator all that stuff okay so uh, this is all about for the time being uh, about programming and coding the importance uh, the programming language the computer language all those kind of stuff okay so uh, thank you thank you for watching have a nice time take care